You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I'm going to solve a strength of materials problem similar to one you might encounter during the FE Exam to give you a better understanding of what you can expect during the actual exam. This Pass the FE Exam video and question are brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. steel bar with a modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascals is stretched with a force of 50 newtons. If the bar is four meters long and has a cross-sectional area of 0 0.5 square meters, what is the approximate elongation? And they provide you with four options, all in nanometers. Now, if you spent a lot of time studying and preparing for the FE exam, you can probably look at this problem and know that you have to find the elongation utilizing the uniaxial loading and deformation equation, which really is very simple because you have all of these variables. You have the force in newtons, 50 newtons. You know the length of the rod is four meters. You're given the cross-sectional area. You don't even have to calculate it. It's 0.5 square meters, which you see on the bottom there. And you have the modulus of elasticity, which is 200 gigapascals. You do have to convert that into pascals in order to get the right answer. And when you do that, you'll come out with two meters. And then you have to do another conversion, which you see at the bottom of the screen there, times 10 to the negative nine to get it into nanometers. So you have your answer there, two nanometers. Now, some of you are probably thinking, well, how did I know to use that equation? Okay, maybe you don't know to use that equation. And the reason that you might not know is because you have to pay attention in this question. It's a little tricky. If we look at the question again, they're asking for the elongation. So if you don't know to use the equation that I just showed you, what are you going to do? You're going to go to your FE reference handbook like everybody else would, and you're going to search. And what word are you going to type in the search bar? Elongation. And when you type the word elongation, what you're going to find is this. You're going to be taken to a page with definitions. It's going to bring you to that specific equation you see on the bottom left hand of the screen, percent elongation. In order to calculate that, you need the change in length of the rod in this case over the original length of the rod. Now, we don't have the change in length. That's what we're looking for. So you have to scroll down a little bit more in that same section and look for an equation that contains the variables that you have. And if you do that, you will find the uniaxial loading and deformation equation, which again has the loading, which we know in Newtons, we know the length of the rod in meters, we know the cross-sectional area in meters squared, and then we just have to take the modulus of elasticity and we have to convert it like we did, all right? So when you don't know something, you're going to do a search, you're going to find something, but if that search doesn't yield exactly what you need, look around in the same section, in the same page of the book, and look for another equation that might have the same variables. And again, it will lead you to this equation that you can then kind of just plug and chug and get your answer. And just remember, the second trip up is those conversions, like I said. The modulus of elasticity has to go to, pa has to, go to Pascal's, and the answer has to go from meters to nanometers, which should be easy to identify because the answers are all in nanometers, but it's not always the case. And your final answer here is B, two nanometers. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks 
including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below. I will read them and respond in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a problem you need help solving. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE Exam.